All right, hey everybody, thanks for sticking around. Now let's do screen captures, and what's really nice about XSplit is they make it super easy to do a screen capture um, region, which is what I'm gonna show you guys in this. So let's say we've got our flower show, everything's working out great, and I'm gonna show you really quickly. Here is a live stream on YouTube, okay? So this live stream is going on on YouTube, we're, let's say we're live streaming to YouTube and there's a lot of people watching. Well, what we're going to do is I'm going to put this on a second screen. You're not going to be able to see, but you will in a second. And let's say I'm going to add a screen capture just of the chat room. Boom. Now I can pull in the chat room live as part of my live stream. This is something I like to do, especially before and after a live stream, where you're interacting with the chat room and everyone can kind of see. And that way, the chat room and the things that are being said in the chat room are forever part of your live stream and the recorded live stream. So that's how you do a screen capture. You can also do a screen capture. Let's say, for example, I'm going to remove this one. And this is actually Fox News. I'm not a big Fox News guy, but um, let's just say that you have someone on Skype and you're Skyping with them and you want to bring them in. Well, this is a YouTube video that's live that's playing now, but what if we wanted to bring in someone with Skype to help you who you're interviewing? This would be a way to do that. You take a screen capture of the Skype call and bring them in. So. That's how you use screen captures in XSplit. Let's go to our next video, which will be showing the finished product. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video, and don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.